Flipping properties, should I be holding or should I be flipping? Well, again, it comes down to your strategy. The reason why I personally like holding properties is you get the capital benefit um, as they're going up over years, so you get the benefit of compound effect. And also by holding your property, you can build your rental amount, so the reoccurring income. So I use my assets to pay for my lifestyle. That's why I personally like to uh, hold my prop properties rather than flip them. Now saying that, I've flipped more than 50 properties uh, during my time. So um, sometimes if the margins don't work that well, so let's say for example, your mortgage is 600 pound and you can get 650 in rent, it becomes a bit pointless. But if you can flip that particular property and make 30 or 40 grand, it makes more sense to flip a property like that. So I do also flip properties as well as um, hold them. When I like flipping properties is when you're starting to gear back down. So I'm a big believer in reaching a certain um, income level that you want that's uh, very specific to you. Once you've hit that target, start gearing back down so we can do some uh, properties that we flip and then we can chunk off the, uh, the amount that we owe on our portfolio. So let's say, for example, you had a one million pound property portfolio and it was geared up to 75%, so 750 grand. Uh, what you could do is once you start doing some flips, they can start to chip off that 750 grand. So they start to bring it down, meaning that you're less geared up on your portfolio. So for me, I do both. Um, I do like to hold properties. I think it's important to do that, but I also think there's a time and a place for flipping properties as well.